My name is Tiffany. I'm the creative director, editor, and on-camera talent for NJET Media, a production company my husband and I started almost a year ago. This is my husband, Matthew. Talented filmmaker, director, and amazing soulmates. Together, we make the perfect team, both in our marriage and in business. Our latest endeavor, combining our honeymoon with a big business opportunity. So we're headed to paradise, our bags packed with all our film equipment, and a job to do on our honeymoon. This is our story. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, today is the day. Ready for the champagne? Hi! Hi. Hi. Oh, bon voyage. Today is the day we leave on our trip and uh, everything's coming together. I can't fit everything. Why do you have two pairs of jeans? I need the two pairs of jeans, Matt. You realize we're going to a tropical place, right? I need the two pairs of jeans. What? Two pairs of jeans. It's not many jeans, it's two pairs. Still kind of stuffing everything into their right places, but... Ah! I'll make room. I'm like butt ironing all my clothes. It's funny, we haven't even left on our honeymoon and I already feel like it's been this huge adventure. You know, not only go on this trip, but prepare to make this film. Welcome to our first shoot for our honeymoon video. <laughs> our honeymoon. It's almost like the wedding. I'm so sick of planning it. I just want it to happen already. Except instead of one day, it's gonna be a whole month. Cheers to that. Someone didn't take the liquid or gel out of their bag, right here. and we're paying the price. Stand right there, on the other side. Everywhere I go. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Pretend like you're walking. Now stop walking. <laughs> No sticker. It's just a, it's a really microscopic stamp. <laughs> she was so excited for the sticker. I thought it was gonna like take up the whole page. I had vision. Yeah. Oh, it's not filming. day that we actually had on Bali from morning to night was just non-stop. We went to one of the more notorious places, the Hanging Garden Hotel. The most beautiful resort I've ever seen. We had lunch there and drank cocktails. And just sat at the table just literally directly overlooking the jungle canyon and it was mind-bogglingly beautiful. After that, Matt and I just got to roam around the resort and find beautiful things to shoot. We're getting distracted every step because we just want to film everything we see. Oh, dead oh, ends. And then we keep coming to dead ends. We're, We're looking this for way. this river, which we can hear it, but we can't find it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be there filming for any sort of commercial reason whatsoever that we told them that we were strictly just filming for personal use. We were kind of bending the rules and trying to stay low profile. That was a big challenge in finding a good spot because we kind of had to do it where people weren't going to be walking by or looking at us. Eventually we walked down past the resort and down into the valley that the resort overlooks 
after hiking a little bit, we came across this uh, bamboo makeshift bridge that was scary. Like one side has a handrail and the other side is just, just drops off into the river. So it's literally only like that wide. So you have to go like one foot in front of the other. Um, not as steady as I would have liked. And of course the perfect shot was from the bridge. Tiffany just nailed her lines every time in these totally impromptu situations. That will be the shot. After we crossed the bridge, it literally reminded me of like an Indiana Jones movie. We were just climbing through the jungle, kind of pushing leaves out of our way and moving up to this amazingly beautiful temple. Oh, this is it. I've never seen anything like it. Super ancient location. It was like the ruins of some archeological site. I was expecting, you know, poison darts to come flying out of the statues at any moment. It was essentially a burial ground for the people in the village. Definitely a little spooky. After that, we went to some really traditional rice patties. Really nice man chopped the, the coconuts and we got to poke some straws in there and drink some coconut milk as sort of the end of the day, the last shot of the day. We got to be at the very top and just kind of look over these rice patties that were something I've never seen before in my life. And every 